Yeah, we are still looking at um, inorganic chemistry. We are still looking at inorganic qualitative analysis. Uh, before we will embark on in uh, in organic organic itself. So here today we have this question. You are provided with solid D. Cut out the following tests and record your observation and the inferences in the space provided. Uh, describe the solid of D that one leave it out. So place about a half of the solid D in a dry test tube, heat it strongly and the test for any gas produced using a blue and red uh, litmus paper. So uh, after doing the experiment it was observed that a blue litmus paper remains blue, red litmus paper remains red. So that means that uh, whatever gas that was produced, that gas was a neutral gas. Neutral gas pre present. Neutral gas. It was a neutral gas, so it could not change the blue litmus paper to red, and red will, could not change to blue, so it was a neutral gas. Place the rest of the solid D in a boiling tube and add about 10 cm cube of distilled water. Shake well and use about 2 cm cube or portion for each of the following tests. So solid D dissolves in water, distilled water to form a colorless solution. So if the solid dissolves in water, forming a colorless solution, it means that uh, the colored ions the colored ions are copper ion 2 and ion 3 are absent we choose to give the ions or the inference of the ions which are absent because if it is colorless, there are so many ions which are present. Magnesium, zinc, barium, calcium, all those salts are, they, they, most of them, they form a colorless solution. Therefore, we give those that give, uh, this one is blue, this one is green, and this one is brown. So the ions, the salts of these salts are br uh, brown, blue, uh, green, and blue. So we give the inference this to make work easier. To the to the second uh, to the to the to one portion to one of the portion, add sodium hydroxide dropwise until in excess. So we are adding sodium hydroxide. We are adding sodium hydroxide and then a white precipitate is formed, which dissolves in excess. So. It means the amphoteric ions are present. The one I called, we call ZAP. Zinc ions, aluminum ions, and lead ions. Are present. Uh, the second portion, add aqueous ammonia dropwise until in excess. A white precipitate is formed which dissolves in excess. So if a white precipitate dissolves and it, uh, then it confirms that uh, zinc to positive are present. To the third portion, add about five drops of sodium chloride solution. Now we are adding sodium chloride. Here we are concerned about the chloride ions. 
no white PPT formed. So if there was a white precipitate, we expected that the, there could be lead or silver. Silver chloride is a white precipitate, lead chloride is a white precipitate. So since there is no white precipitate, it means that the lead two positive, you can even say silver are absent. Are absent. This one lead silver chloride is a white precipitate. Lead chloride is a white precipitate, so it forms a white precipitate. The fourth portion added dilute barium nitrate. So we are adding barium nitrate, uh, dilute barium nitrate, and then there's no white PPT. So barium, could form a white precipitate with the sulfate, with the sulfite, and the carbonate. But now, since there is no white precipitate, it means all of these are absent. With the fifth portion, add lead nitrate and warm so white precipitate which dissolves on warming if a white precipitate is and we are already adding this remember when we add lead nitrate lead nitrate a white precipitate is formed it means Therein there is a sulfate, there is a carbonate, there is a sulfite, we suspect all these are there and there could be a chloride. But when you when when you you are adding lead nitrate and then you warm, the white precipitate dissolves on warming. That simply confirms the chloride ion because lead chloride lead chloride is the only white precipitate which dissolves on warming to form a colorless solution therefore this confirms that this is the chloride ions that are present that are present so and then identify solid d so to identify solid t you check the cation cation present and the anion present the anion present is chloride ions and the cation present is zinc therefore the salt is zinc chloride the salt is zinc chloride ah, thank you uh,